legend of Slubak tells of a brash young man from Pit Lake arriving in the city of New Westminster every year, loaded with gold and flaunting his wealth. When he kills to protect his mind, he is hanged and from the gallows curses anyone seeking his gold. This is over a hundred year old mystery. The legend describes that there's a creek covered with gold. There's nuggets everywhere. There's stories about the Slumach guy that found gold. The legend says that Slumach was a murderer killing to protect the gold that he had found. It is said that as he stood on the gallows, Slumach had expressed a curse. When I die, the mine dies. A death sentence to anyone that tries to find his gold. People have died, people disappear, people don't come back. If the gold was easily accessible, there would be no legends. I first heard about the Lost Street Gold Mine when I was 12 years old. We both grew up watching the same show and reading the same books about this legend. Welcome to Gold Trails and Ghost Towns. I'm Mike Roberts. The treasure is sometimes called the Lost Mine of Pitt Lake. I'd rather call it Slumax Lost Mine. I know some of the legend is a total invention. Lots of mistruths and just straight out lies. My grandma is from the Katsi First Nations where Slumac is from. When I was growing up, I never heard anything about Slumac. He was essentially banished from history, just poof, gone. We know Slumac was a real person. We know in 1891, he was hanged for shooting another man. Don't believe the newspapers at the time. Journalists, they didn't go there. They heard the rumors. That's all what there was. Do not trust anything which is published. Back then, First Nations people were portrayed as savages. It looks like the media is painting Slimak like the terrible villain. Of course, they were so oppressed and their right of governance to traditional justice was, was gone. Historically, gold never meant anything to First Nations people, apart from everybody trampling on our land to go and find it. Slimak didn't tell anybody about the gold he found, but I found it day before he was executed. Looking for the Lost Creek gold mine isn't just about finding gold, this is about solving a 100-year-old mystery. 